Thanks, Maddie and Amanda, and welcome everybody to SBU TV Sports. I'm Ryan McSpedden. Bonnie's basketball is back, and only in high school football is in contention for the Class B championship. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Olean takes a three-game win streak into its semifinal matchup tonight. They look to continue their playoff run as our Matt Shalou has more. Last week, the Olean football team upset number two ranked Newfane in the first round of the Section 6 Class B playoffs. The Huskies won the game by a final score of 26 to 24, setting them up with a game at Albion tonight at 7. This Olean football team has not lost since their last matchup against Albion on October 4th. The Albion Purple Eagles got the best of the hometown Huskies, winning by a final score of 49 to 26. However, since that game, the Huskies are winners in three straight and look to ride that momentum into tonight's matchup. Now I'm standing here across the street from Bradner Stadium where Olean High School plays their home games. Yesterday, I went down to their practice field to watch them practice, and after the practice, I caught up with head coach Bill Vecchio and asked him about how their regular season matchup with Albion will help them prepare for tomorrow night's playoff rematch. We feel lucky that we have a chance to uh, get a rematch with Albion. We know that we didn't play our best uh, up there the first game, and uh, we have an opportunity to go up and try to correct some wrongs that uh, we feel we can improve upon and uh, give Albion our best shot for a chance to go to the stadium. Senior captain linebacker Nick Fredericangelo built off of his coach's statements. We all know we didn't really play our best game against Albion the first time, so I think we're just going to come out there. Everybody's going to do their job. I think we have a good shot at them. Reporting for SBU TV Sports, I'm Matthew Shalou. Men and women's basketball teams had their first action of the year Wednesday at the Riley Center. The women shrugged off a slow start to win in convincing fashion. Let's take a look at the highlights. The women's basketball team tipped off their exhibition game against Cortland University, defeating them 68-54. Despite the dominant win, head coach Jesse Fleming still believes his team has a lot to learn. It's going to give us a ton of film um, to just show it doesn't matter who you play. Um, if you're not locked in mentally to do the things right, um, that any team can make you pay. Um, so um, I'm glad we got to learn the lesson with a win uh, tonight. Um, but it, you know, there's going to be a lot of tough lessons down the road if we don't, if we don't learn some lessons. Uh, right now. The women's first game is Tuesday, November 5th, 5 o'clock at the Riley Center against St. John's. Students and fans packed the Riley Center as the men kicked off their centennial season with an exhibition game against Alfred University. Even after the Bonnie's 45-point blowout, head coach of the men's basketball team, Mark Schmidt, is looking to see underclassmen step up and show improvement on both sides of the ball. A lot of things that we need to work on. Um, you know, both defensively and offensively. But we need, you know, we need two or three of the young guys to, to, to help us. So they played, the, you know, for the most part, played the whole second half. And, um, you know, I thought they, they, like I said, they did some good things um, and they did some not so good things that we need to work on. Um, but like I said, we, we need to have, you know, two or three of those guys step up and, and play like veteran guys. The men open up against Ohio University Tuesday, November 5th, 7.30 p.m. at the Riley Center. That's all the time we have for SBU TV Sports. Tossing it back over to you, Maddie and Amanda.